guys, it's Demon Chester 44 back with more Pokemon Gold. Last time I was stupid and did absolutely no progress whatsoever. But this time we're gonna get past that. Um, we are back on Route 32, and now we are at a fork in the road. Of course we are. Uh, let's see. I'm looking at my map. Uh, wait, 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 what? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm really stupid right now. Okay, I'm gonna take the bridge. Because there are some trainers up here, I think. You know, if I'm right, this is one of these guys is Henry. Are you Henry? My Pokemon fresh you caught. I'm a fat guy. <laughs> I'm so offensive lately. Uh, okay, so this this is Henry. He has a level eight poly two level eight polywag. If, yeah. The polywag sprite in this game looks really retarded in my opinion. I'm, I'm sorry, but they couldn't have thought of anything better to do. Polywag's using Bubble, the weakest water move, I think. And, of course, since Erwin's a beast and he's a water type, that did nothing anyway. Despite the stab that Polywag's getting, but Erwin's like, RAR! I, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Oh, 1 HP, are you kidding me? Of course. No! I hate hypnosis. Well, hopefully the bubbles, all this thing knows is bubbles, so it won't do any more damage. But come on, come on, come on, wake up, Erwin. You're so close to a level up, and I don't want to waste a turn healing you with a berry. I'll take the one damage each turn. <laughs> it's okay. There we go. Yeah, wake up. Level up. Here we go. Level 14. And here's the other lovely polywag. We'll let Pidgey take this one. Oh, and by the way, I've also thought of a name for Pidgey whenever we get to the uh, dude that will give let us change her name. No! Thank God. See, hypnosis is a ghost move, and since Pidgey is normal is a normal and flying type, hypnosis has no effect. Your battleship just got sunk. Splash! Are you a magic harp? What do you Freshie call Pokemon, no magic probably raise my Don't shut up when you upset. Whoa! You made me lose that fish! This is Fisher Justin. He has three level five magic harp and a level fifteen magic harp. <laughs> and the level five magic harp will be no threat, because all that you know how to do is splash. I mean I could probably throw the egg out there, and the egg would win the battle. And I forgot to switch up. Pokemon, so that Erwin will get the dude. Oh, and a critical to boot. Not that that was necessary. See, only 21 uh, experience points. Pidgey, you know what to do. Magic Carp? Ooh! Yay for random sound effects. Let's use some Gust. I like Gust. Gust is a pretty good move for this early in the game. The other, is this the level 15 or just another level 5? Okay, here's his hard hitter. The level 15 actually knows how to use tackle. But it only does 3 HP. And Gust. That did a lot less than I would have liked in all honesty. That, that did diddly. Pidgey's finally found a challenge. Oh, come on! Do I seriously need to keep... That's like the fourth gust this thing's taken. I mean, I'll be honest, when Magikarp finally learns something besides Splash, and if you have enough patience, actually evolve into a Gyarados, it's a beast, but... And Pidgey learned Quick Attack. That would have been a lot helpful last... before. <laughs> no, I don't want to change Pokemon. Seriously, I could throw the egg out of these things, and there'd be no challenge, because they don't know anything. Quick attack allows you to attack first, no matter what the other Pokemon's speed is. But it doesn't matter anyway, I just wanted to show off the animation. Sploosh! Once it's splash, the other says sploosh. Okay, continuing down the bridge, we have another trainer over here. And I forgot to change Pokemon again. This is, I think, Fisher Ralph. If I'm correct, he is a level 10 Goldeen if this is Ralph. Let's say yes, Ralph. 
defeating Ralph will allow him to give you your number, and I think he actually is worthwhile to get a number from. He has a level 10 Goldine, as I said. Peck. Yeah, that's what I understand, how this fish can actually have a flying roof. Um, I, uh, I don't want to heal Erwin just yet. If we get into red, I'll definitely heal. Critical. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Actually, why am I not using Water Gun? I mean, I understand Water Gun isn't going to be as effective as... Oh, no. <laughs> that was not... That was a lot less than I would have liked. No, Stone no, Oak, thank God. See, we didn't even need to heal. Healing was... Healing would have been pointless. Oh, and so close to a level up. I tried to rush things. I don't even know what accent I'm giving these guys anymore. And we're getting a call from my mother. Hi, John. How are you? I found a useful. Yeah, see, she buy she buy stuff with your item with your uh money. Sometimes they're useful, most times they're not. See, talking to Ralph will give him your phone number. This is Ralph, right? Yeah, Ralph. And I'm pretty sure he tells you when certain Pokemon are in season. I'm not, I'm not sure. I hope so, or else I just wasted the entire po uh, phone space. We're running close on the time limit. This is a trainer. Also, uh, did I miss a trainer? Uh, no, I didn't. Oh wait, yes we did. There's a trainer up there. This is Picnicker. That glance, it's intriguing. This is a Camper Roland. Camper Roland has a level 9 uh, male Nidoran. And that sprite was very disturbing. I don't understand how the male Nidoran's pink and the female Nidoran's blue, but whatever. Whatever. I'm turning to Shugger Conroy with all the whatevers. Lear with lower defense, but he missed. You know, I wish I, I wish I could actually speed up this, and we'd get so much more progress. And uh oh, Urban's getting close to uh, death, but we're close. But we just defeated the knee around, so it doesn't matter, and we got level up. Yeah, level up. Our team's coming along pretty good already. First one gym out of the way, and we're already level 15. Hmm, this is disappointing. Uh, let's see here, let's switch up Pidgey. Because Erwin needs some, uh, rest. I'll heal him later. And I want that Pokeball where we're getting encountered by a Pokemon. Ooh, a Mareep! Mareep is an electric type, and I don't want to risk Pidgey getting uh, killed by it. Mareep, when fully evolved, is a pretty good Pokemon, is an Ampharos. I was, I was once considering using Ampharos on the team, but I figured, eh, nah, it's overused. Especially in this, uh, especially in this, uh, generation. How would you like this tasty, nutritious slowpoke tail? Holy crap! A million Pokemon dollars for a slowpoke tail? Dude, that little kids these days were loaded. And there's a hidden item right here, a great fall. And I know I skipped a trainer up there, I just want to see what was down here. There's a Pokemon Center right there, so we'll defeat this trainer, and then we'll go there. I found some good Pokemon in the grass. I think they'll do it for me. This is Youngster Gordon. He has a level 10 Wooper. Which is a water type, which is no match for the Piggy. If we had a Mary on the team, it'd definitely be no match, but I don't want to use Mary. That's seriously, seriously, a team? The, the best team in this game, if you're playing Silver version, would be um, a fully evolved Cyndaquil, a Graveler, Ampharos and a ho -Oh. Then you're you're done. This game would just be like so easy. But I don't even Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm talking and I'm rambling. And Youngster Gordon was defeated. Darn, I thought I could win. Send some to mom. And he just spins around like an idiot. Uh, let's see here. There's one more trainer down here, a bird keeper, and we got into a battle with him anyway, so let's just try to hurry this up. He has two level six Pidgey and a level eight spear on it, just ignore what he said, because I want to get this over with. Seriously, where's the turbo button on this thing when I need it? Here, level 6 Pidgeys don't match for my level 15 Pidgey. Yeah, I've said that already. See, it. look at how much that tackle did. I'm pretty sure Quick Attack would probably do more, but whatever. Quick, actually, no, Quick Attack's a little quicker animation, so I'll just do that. Uh, here comes the other level 7 Pidgey. I'm, I don't remember which uh, does more damage, Quick Attack or Tackle. I'm pretty, pretty sure uh, Tackle does. Actually, this stuff's pretty even. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't think it matters. If they have the same damage, that's pretty uh, interesting in my opinion. Because if, that case, if that's the case, why would anyone want to tackle and make it a quick attack? Or attacks first. And here's that Spiro. Level 8. Quick attack again. And he's gonna use Peck. Doesn't mean anything to me. Quick attack, and Spiro is done, and we have like 30 seconds left. So let's hurry up. Bird Keeper Peter was defeated. I know what my weaknesses are. Yeah, they're. Yeah, it's other bird Pokemon. Okay, so that's gonna do it for this episode, okay, right, guys? So next time, we're gonna. Hey, we're gonna keep on exploring and see what we come across, and uh, that's basically it. So I'm gonna heal here and save, and I'll see you all next time.